What's going on everybody, welcome back. And I keep getting a ton of questions with regards to aftermarket slides, specifically the Brownells ones and how they keep holding up. Now, whether you are building a factory frame or you're sprucing up one, or you're getting one of those aftermarket ones or doing a full custom build for yourself, I get a lot of questions with regards to what ready-made slide is there to go with because not everybody wants to have a factory slide milled or have to buy a factory slide or buy an aftermarket one. Some people just want that one-stop shop and they wanna be able to order that slide and just have it shipped to them slap the parts in there and head out to the range. So for the past two years, I have been running two different Brownell slides. One for that 17 length with the window, no RMR on it on the Warhammer here. Then the other one, which you might remember from the original build that I did and the Roland Special build that has the RMR cut, the window and the front serrations. So both of these are a little over two years old at this point, and I've got thousands of rounds through both of these because I use them for a ton of testing and I've used them on several different builds just to check the functionality of the frames. Now you can go back and you can check out my original Brownells videos and the Roland Special build that I did. Uh, have yourself a good laugh because the video quality is not what it is here today because of the camera gear and editing software that I've got to kind of take the channel to that next level now. So what exactly are you getting with the Brownells slide? It really depends on which one you go with. What you're gonna get is like this one. You're gonna have a window, you can have serrations, you can have no window and serrations all over the top. You can have an RMR cut, but what you're getting is a good, decent looking slide with some additional options on it if you want an RMR. It is nitrided, which is an extremely durable coating, and it's done and it's shipped to you, so there's no sending off to get milled. It's just ready to rock and roll and ready for your barrel and your upper parts kit. They do offer a couple of different cool colors now on there. They've got some PVD like flat dark earth and bronze and everything, and then of course the nitride here. We're gonna get into these things and check them out and kind of show you how they are because there was one little issue with these that was in both the full size and the compact version that had to do with a little burr up inside the window right here that would just kind of scar the top of your barrel, which in all honesty, if you're gonna shoot the thing, isn't really that big of a deal. Well, let's go ahead and check these things out and we'll see how they are doing after a couple of years and a couple of thousand rounds at least each. But first, make sure you do all of the things and those things are like, share, and definitely subscribe. Ensure that you turn the bell notification icon on so you can get these videos when they come out right away. If you guys are interested in anything you see here today, I'll leave some links down below for you. YouTube people, check the first link in the description. That'll take you to where everything is posted and I'll try to find some coupon codes because I think there are still some out here for these slides. But we are gonna go ahead and check these things out right now. All right, let's jump into these Brownells slides right here. Let's tackle the one with the most options here first, which is the gold member version of the uh, Roland Special here. So we'll go ahead and check out how the wear is going here on the inside. And then obviously since this has the comp on it, I can't pull the barrel all the way out, but we'll take a good look in here. So a little bit dirty. I have been shooting this uh, not too long ago, but you can take overall good look. The nitride coating is holding up very, very well which is exactly what I would expect. Nitride is a great coating. Get your basic typical wear and you know brass left on the uh, inside of the ejection port right there and everything. And then in here on the slide, that's where you're gonna see, you know, maybe a little additional wear up in this area right here, you know, because of those aftermarket barrels having a little bit tighter tolerances. So up in here, you can see um, on that edge, it's been polished off a little bit from all the reciprocation of that slide and where the barrel contacts it especially right in that area. Get that to zoom in for you the best I can. Right up towards the front, right there, you can see it's a little bit more shiny than anywhere else. Other than that, it's doing good. Little, uh, little scar right there from the rails, but it's holding together nicely. It's doing exactly what I would expect of a quality coating and a quality branded slide. So let's check this one out. And then we'll talk about the differences between the two besides, you know, just obviously the windows and the RMR cut. Because we're going to get into something about that specifically. So again, on this one, this is the other version that does not have the RMR cut, but it does uh, have the little window in the front serrations. There's a version with the RMR cut without it with serrations that go all the way over and no window. Really up to you. So this one is holding together quite well, and I have used less barrels in here, um, so I don't see as much wear right here on the inside right there. Um, typical wear everywhere that I would expect. Again, right up in there, you can see 
Uh, polished off the inside right there pretty well after all those rounds. You can really see it right there. And that's also where that little burr was. It was right up in here and kind of scratched the top of the barrels. You'll see right like that. You'll see some lines on there. But this is something I use. I've shot a lot. It's been in a lot of videos, so I really don't care. That's going to happen eventually anyways. So when it comes to picking out a slide for what you want, I prefer to have slides if I'm going to run optics on them. If I can, if I'm allowed to, um, I'd rather have it a milled slide because it's going to be milled perfectly for that. It's going to give a lot more thread depth. And these do come with the appropriate screws from Brownells. And I like milled slides over uh, like MOS style plates because you're having less parts in there, less chance for movement. And like I say, it's milled perfectly in spec for whatever optic. You're going to get a ton of thread depth compared to the MOS plates. And to me, it's just a more secure mounting platform. So in all, these things are holding up great. The only other thing I would notice is kind of like a superficial thing. You can kind of see that like circular area right there. Don't know what the heck that is. That's just how this slide has always been. But other than that, these things are absolutely awesome, especially for the price. Let's go ahead and wrap this up, talk about price, some of those options, and get this over with. So they're still looking pretty good. So as you can see, the quality on these things is there. I have shot a lot of rounds through both this compact, the Roland Special, Comp, Not Comp. I've run a ton of different barrels in there. And they're showing somewhere, but it's what I would expect for something that's got this round count through it. So the best thing about the Brownell slides, you kind of get like a no frills, kind of semi little bit of flare, one and done design shipped to you, ready to rock and roll, put your upper parts kit in, and you are in business as long as your frame is ready. So that nitride coating, we all know that nitride is legit. It is a very good coating. There are some that are out there that are better. There are some that are a little bit more flashy. But nitride has been a standard for a lot of manufacturers for a very long time, and it's proven itself to be very durable. Now let's talk about the cost of these bad boys. Anywhere from 200 to like 250 bucks-ish in there, and like I said, there are some coupon codes out there sometimes that Brownells offers. If I find them, I will link them on my website and everything for you guys. But that's pretty solid because it's not just sending this out to get a slide milled, it's the slide and everything done shipped to you ready to rock and roll. Now, most slide work that I've had done by aftermarket companies is well over 250 bucks, and sometimes it's well over that. So, and that's just setting a slide I already own in to get done. So that's a big difference between something like this that's ready to roll and something that you're gonna buy and then spend more money on to get it to look the way you want. So when it comes down to it, the quality for the cost on these ones right now is pretty much unmatched. I've seen a few other budget options out there that I was not that impressed with. Um, just based on the overall design, the overall cost and features and everything that you can get in that 200 to $250 price range. Now prices do fluctuate, so if it's a lot more, this may be an older video, so double check that. But either way, if you're building something from the ground up or if you just want an additional slide to have a little competition ready rolling special or something like out there, the Brownell slides are just a great way to start, especially if you're getting into custom builds or building your own frame or bought an aftermarket frame or even that factory Glock frame. So I really hope this helped all of you guys out. I just wanted to answer a lot of those questions I've been getting from viewers in regards to ready to go slides and which I think is probably the best one out there in a certain price range, which I think is the Brownells one. Make sure you guys do all of the things for me, like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn that bell notification icon on and then share it so everybody can get the same information. If you guys are interested in anything you saw here, I'll leave those links down below. You guys get out there and get some training and some range time in. Stay safe, stay ready, and most important of all, you guys stay dangerous, and I will see you all on the next one.